if we examine this glass window, and let's just examine the glass and make it a bit thicker just to make everything more clear, when a light ray, called the incident ray, hits the material, it might reflect the ray. Obviously, this ray is called the reflected ray. We measure the angle they make compared to the normal, a plane perpendicular to the surface. Keep in mind this is just a simplified setup because there might be a lot of more incident rays, but we just simplified it. So we're just looking at one set of arrays. Now we know the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence from the law of reflection. So these angles are the same. Reflections are quite easily understood. Let's have a look at refraction now. So here we have the incident ray and this time it's refracted. We call this of course the refracted ray. And the angles are again measured around the normal. You can see the light bends just after it passes into the new medium. I'll show you why with Huygens' principle in the upcoming video called Mirages. Light moves with light speed, but only in vacuum. In air and glass it moves slower. This is the reason why light bends. We'll define a constant n called the index of refraction as the speed of light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in the material. Here we have the speed of light in air and glass. But in a study, it was possible to slow light speed down so much, you could even bike faster. This material used would obviously have an extreme high index of refraction. You might know refraction from every day. If you put something in water, it appears to be bent. If we zoom out, we can see what path the light ray takes. The actual position of the spoon is here, but the water refracts the light rays. Another crazy effect of refraction displaces our sun. When the sun emits rays, it will hit the earth and it will hit the atmosphere. The atmosphere has a higher index of refraction than vacuum and it will bend the ray. It might even hit beautiful Denmark. But what happens is it bends the rays and so the sun is actually here, but it looks like it's here. Okay, so let's just return to the setup. We had two different angles, theta A and theta B, compared to the normal, and we had two different index of refractions, NA and NB. Now, of course, there's an equation for this to compare the angles of the array, and that's called Snell's law. Let's use this equation to describe another effect. Here we have refraction again, but this time from water to air. You can see when the angle of incident increases, the angle of refraction approaches 90 degrees. For water and air, this happens around 94 degrees. When it does that, the ray can no longer escape the medium. This angle is called the critical angle. If the ray comes from a greater angle, we experience internal reflections. The ray just bounces around in the material. This is used in fiber cables. Let's derive an equation quickly. We'll use Snell's law again. The angle should be 90 degrees, so let's put that in. The sine to 90 degrees is 1, and so it disappears. Let's divide by Na on both sides and take the inverse sin on both sides. Inverse sine and sine cancel out. And here we have the final equation for the critical angle. The wavelength, often denoted as lambda, is the distance from wave top to wave top. Red light has the wavelength of 700 nanometers, while violet has around 400. We can see the other wavelength. The wave here is about three wavelengths long, and each wavelength will oscillate with different frequencies in nature as well. Dispersion time. Here we have a water drop and a light white ray, which is painted black. Maybe a bit confusing, I know. White light contains all wavelengths of color, but in some material the index of refraction depends on wavelength and so white light will break apart to its wavelength because they all have different angles of refractions. That's a short video explaining these concepts. Support the creation of more videos by either joining my Patreon, subscribing, sharing, commenting or liking. Yeah, I'm very needy, as you can hear.